Hey guys, T2 out here, back again with PD. Welcome back to our 20 mile bug out challenge test adventure. So it is morning of day two. We slept differently. Uh, you slept pretty good. Oh yeah. I slept pretty not good. So uh, to each their own type thing. We learned some pretty decent lessons last night. We'll have a whole pros and cons episode dedicated to it probably after this uh, this portion airs. But yeah, we were just packed up. We've got a couple more videos we're gonna shoot. We're gonna get some water before we leave. And then we're gonna get on the road and do another 10, 10 miles out. 10 miles out. So I think yesterday we actually ended up doing 11 and a half. And, but today we're, we're marking off the state park. So we're going directly past it. Um, which is nice that'll that'll save us about a mile so it'll actually be a, a 10 mile day no complaints feeling good feeling good only complaints i have really is got a little soreness in my legs just when i stand up and first start walking around but the more it seems like as i move the more it's kind of gonna break, up. Bre gonna break out so i don't think it's going to be any problem i'm going to preemptively just go ahead and put on some uh baby powder on my arm here where we was having that chafing yesterday and probably you know take care of other areas I brought icy hot with me because I do have bad knees I had surgery on my knees 10 years ago on one of my knees 10 years ago the other one's just as bad I just didn't have to have surgery on it I'm actually thinking that today going on to the trail I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on get them knees good and going make sure that everything's gonna work the way it should so far no complaints we ate breakfast I need to hydrate more I think two liters should be fine until we get to the water source but yeah so far so good Let's we'll see how day two goes. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So climbing up and out of this campsite is uh, a little tough. It's oh. probably half a mile to three quarters of a mile. Yeah, I'd say about three quarters. Um, three quarters of a mile straight downhill yesterday. So now it's straight uphill today. So it's <clears throat> it's a good morning wake up. Um, it's a great way to get the blood flowing, I guess. As we said yesterday, it's all uphill from here. Look, it's mostly downhill. Downhill today. Downhill, downhill mostly. Slope, so. We'll see. Is today going to be better than yesterday? I think so, but I don't know if you're feeling this or not, but it seems like it's more humid today. Yeah. For some it's, reason. It's definitely warmer today. Just standing here, I'm sweating like crazy, so. Yeah. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully it stays cool like it was yesterday, but probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Can't get two nice days in a row. Nah. Of course be not. South Carolina then. So, here we go. Back on trail. six miles to the state park um, we're not going all the way to the state park this time so probably 5.5 and then then our water source so both rocking about two liters we hydrated a little bit before we left camp probably not enough but that's the amount of water that we used to coming uphill to the campsite so we we made the decision that we would carry that same amount of water back down and that way we're not carrying extra weight being the water so we'll see how how well that helps us or hurts us so it could help us because total mine would be six pounds of water david's would be eight and a, almost nine pounds of water so that's a couple extra pounds that we're not carrying of course it can hurt us because because if we drink all of our water between now and then now we don't have any water so luckily for the majority it's downhill so we shouldn't be burning as much as much water as much calories but like david said earlier it seems more humid today it seems hotter today right at the same time we started yesterday um it's 10 30 when we started today it was 11 yesterday you doing good up there david all right guys we are at the troy road 107 split um 1.4 from 107 but then you figure we probably walked another half mile down to the campsite so two miles right at an hour yeah we're making a good time most of it's been downhill yeah other than it that really ain't been bad 
other than that initial coming out of the campsite. So we have a 4.6 to the state park, like David was saying. Well, it's 4.1 because we're not going to the state park. So we are going to cut about half a mile off. Good to go. How are you feeling, Dave? Feeling Two miles good, in. I'm actually doing really good. A lot better than yesterday? Yeah, it's a whole lot better than yesterday. Yeah, no, feeling good. Everything's good. Ain't got no complaints yet. Same. Um, no complaints. Feet are maybe hurting a little bit, but that's just from walking. Most of it's been downhill, so that's always good. No complaints. That over there is the repeater tires, which are right beside the state park. Um, if you can't tell, it's up on a hill which means we have to go down this hill and back up that mountain and we're gonna be right beside those repeater tires. We passed them on our way in, we'll pass them on our way out. So up on that hill is where we gotta go. We've made it to the final water stop coming down the mountain. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take a 15 minute-ish break, fill up our water bottles, Probably drink a liter a piece, fill them up again. I'm at least going to go with three liters. Have you decided? Probably going to go ahead and just carry out the full 4.5. I'd rather have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. So, so we're making fine timing, um, moving a lot quicker, which most of it's downhill, so that's a good thing. Definitely a whole lot easier today. Yeah. So far. So far. We know that we have one more really big hill coming up, so trying to mentally prepare for that but i mean so far so good so yeah we're gonna take a break get some water probably eat something yeah and then i'll uh, be back on trail about to try the sawyer squeeze filtering from a liter and a half smart water bottle into my bladder i want to see how it goes What are your thoughts and opinions on bladders now after filling it up? If you're not getting your water from a spigot, bladders suck. Tea totally suck. Like I'm, I'm fighting with this thing, trying to hold it up while filling it. Still, before I say bladders are just awful, I am going to try to do an inline filter on this bladder using Sawyer Squeeze. I got the kit to do it so we're going to try it and just see how it works but as far as right now bladders suck i probably be taking it out of the bag unless that inline is just magical so that's what i got to say all right guys the sign up here says all right there's david this sign right past david says that the state park is three miles away those towers that we showed you earlier they're just right there so we've crossed mountain ridges um, so it's about two and a half to the intersection and then 2.7 down. So we are officially on the downhill side of things now. So that's a huge benefit. Hydrating as much as we can. We know there's no water between here and there though. So that's the fun part. Nothing really. I mean, it's a whole lot better today than yesterday, except for we're getting a little bit of weather moving in. Uh, we've had a few little sprinkles here or there of rain, which explains the humidity that we were talking about earlier. So other than that, making it just miserable out here, ain't nothing I can complain about. I did, however, get a blister on my foot. I will say that. No fault of the shoes. I just didn't have them laced up tight enough. And on that first downhill slope, that my foot slid forward and the very front of my toe rubbed up against the shoe until it finally caused a blister. Got that taken care of back when we got water. And yeah, other than that, I'm good. I'm straight. All right, guys, we have made it back to this intersection. Hidden Falls is that way. We're not hitting it because it's raining if you can't hear. State Park's that way. So we're probably maybe a half a mile to a mile from the State Park. I lied and I said it was three when it was two. So we're probably half a mile away. So we're going to walk faster because it's raining. I don't like being wet. Good deal. You know what this sign means? 2.6 miles. Ish. Yeah. Ish close downhill we're almost done have a lot faster than we're going up so we're gonna 
we're gonna go to Tomasi Knot, right? I'm done. That's that's no way to be, David. Let's just add an extra three miles. Back on the Palmetto Trail, 2.7 miles, mostly downhill to Station Cove Falls. Still not hurting anywhere? No, just that blister. I've got about a liter and a half left. David's got? About the same. Yeah, about the same. No water between here and there, so we've been trying to conserve it for this last portion. Yeah, it is what it is. It's fun times. All right, guys, so we are almost back at the vehicle. We're about a mile away. We figured we'd go ahead and do the outro here versus down there because, you know, people. But we're almost done. Good trip. Yeah. I mean, it's a hiking trip. That's all you can say. It's nothing but what we expected. So, um, yeah, yesterday was a lot tougher than today. Uh, I'll say that. Just the uphill, constant uphill wore us out yes. majorly. So it's almost four o'clock. So yesterday we didn't get done till seven, no six. Yesterday we hiked for seven hours. Yeah. So yesterday we hiked for seven hours. We started at 11, we got done at six. Today on the same trail, we're getting done at 4.30 at the latest. And we started 30 minutes early, so four o'clock. Um, so I don't know, do the math. So we saved probably two, two and a half hours today. Yeah. And we still took that 15 minute break ended up being about a 30 minute break. So made up a bunch of time, saved a bunch of time. It's a good trip. I think we learned a lot. Oh yeah. So I'm sure there'll be more videos to follow and uh, you know, Hey, this was tiresome. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't liked and commented on this video, make sure you do that. And uh, if you haven't watched this video, then I don't know how you got here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. We'll see y'all later. D2 out.